Today we're going to learn how to reduce the velocity exponentially in simulation nodes in Blender to do these animations. So let's see it. Do you know this famous scene in the movie Matrix where Neo stopped the bullets? Okay, you have some skill. So today we are trying to recreate this effect. So let's start going to Geometry Nodes and create a new profile. And we are going to use a grid and convert it in bullets, in points. So let's rotate it in one axis, for example, this one, 90 degrees. Let's make it wider in this axis and let's convert it in points with distribute points on faces. With this, we can add more points or less. I'm going to select less because later we're going to use simulation zone. So every frame will have different bullets being shot. So let's bring simulation zone. Let's disconnect this, connect it here and here. And actually what I want is not connected here. I want to join it in the middle of simulation zone. So let's open this and let's join this with join geometry. So every new frame, thanks to simulation nodes, will have this number of points. Now what I want is that when I press play, they change the seat, the position. So I'm going to use here a scene time with frame. As you can see now, we have all these bullets. However, they don't move. Okay, so let's give uh, initial velocity with store name attribute. Let's add it here and let's select vector. Let's call this velocity and let's move it in one single axis. For example, this one, positive x. So let's add one value in x. This will be the initial velocity. Now let's use this velocity in simulation zone with set position, first of all, and now let's use this attribute that we create with name attribute. You can copy this and paste it here and connect it in offset. So this is the initial velocity. And if we press play, the bullets, as you can see, are being shot in this direction, in the vector of the initial velocity. Perfect. Now, what we want is to stop gradually, exponentially, these bullets, these points. So they start fast with this velocity and they stop in some point. How we do that? This is really easy. The only thing we have to do is to store this change. So first of all, I want to show you what happens if we bring vector math and we select scale and we add it here. In the middle of set position and this attribute that we created. So if I press play, nothing happens. And if I decrease this scale, I can decrease the velocity of this vector. Okay? It's not affecting to the velocity gradually. It's just compressing or extending this vector, the velocity. Okay. Let's select something like 0 0.5. However, if we create a new store name attribute with this attribute, so let's copy and paste it here. What we can do, let's select vector, is that we can apply a change. So it's like an update. So let's use this and connect it here. But to apply this change, we need to reuse the name attribute. So, why I'm using a scale? If you use it in value 1, it's the same, as you can see. However, if we decrease this one, look at the difference. This is a position, and this is a storing a new change for every frame. This is really important to understand. So, if I decrease this a little bit, something like 0 0.9, that means that every frame is going to be multiplied by this number. So the first bullets, the first points, will start to reduce 
its velocity every new frame. So let's press play and see what happens. So as you can see, that's what happens. Every frame, every new point, is being multiplied the velocity by this number. So it's like decreasing this gradually. That's why they start really fast and they stop here. Like in the movie Matrix. Let's see it again. So more you decrease this, faster will stop. For example, if I select 0 0.5, you will see that they stop right here. Because every new frame is being multiplied. And if I increase this, you can see the difference. More or less where they stop. And if we select one, it's the same. And really important, if we select more than one, we are doing the opposite. We are saying every new frame be longer and longer and longer. So if I select, for example, two, look at this. Can you see that the steps, the distance between any step is longer? Look, I'm going to add more particles so you can see it better. And I'm going to save this view. Now what's happening is that the initial velocity is one vector, right? So the first frame is doing one vector. However, we are saying that for every new frame, make twice the velocity, this, with a scale of two. And we are storing this change, so it's being used here. That's why the second frame, we have the double of the first distance. So we have one and one. And the third frame, we have twice this. So one and two. And the next one, if here we have four, so we have four and four. So basically, every new step, the distance, the velocity, is going exponentially, as you can see. So, the main point is that if we multiply and scale in a store by 1, is the same. And if we decrease this number, we are making the points stop in some point, as you can see. So with this scale, you can create this effect, like stopping these bullets in the movie matrix. Let's decrease this, for example, 2, and you can see better. And with this, remember, you can make it faster or slower. But doesn't affect to the velocity gradually, because it's not being stored every frame. That's the difference between this and this. For example, what you can do is to use this effect for explosions like fireworks. So let's delete this. And let's delete this. And actually what I want is to connect it here because I want only one single explosion. But what we're going to do is to use a UV sphere and convert it in points. So let's see it. And I don't want to push it in this direction. What I want is to push it in the normal direction of this object. So what we can do, I don't know if we use this, it's going to work. Let me check. Yes. So now we are using the normal of these points, of this sphere. If not, you can get the normal here and use it again. But this is working. And let's add more points, something like this. For example, a lot of points. And I want to scale this. If you decrease this number, you're going to lose points on points. So if you want to maintain the number of points, what you can do is to use set position. So let's use set position. And use again position. And in the middle of this, use a scale. So vector math, a scale. So we're going to scale the position of all the points without losing points. So let's select a scale and decrease this, as you can see. So we can select a number where all the points are together. Actually, I recommend you to start in the frame zero. 
to see how it looks like. Something like that. It's okay. And now, if we press play, we have this effect. Okay, if you see all the points in this pattern, it's because your object doesn't have too many faces and points. So just increase this. And let's start again. And you have this really cool effect. It's like an explosion of fireworks. If you don't want so many points, you can decrease this. Let's decrease a little bit. And we have this really cool effect. And here we can decide if it stops sooner or later. So let's say something like this. And we see this effect. So imagine if we add later trails to this effect. And we delete the points by time. You can create really cool effects. Or what you can do also is to join this every frame. So let's start again. And okay, let's change the seed every frame. And let's decrease the density. And let's restart again. Look at this cool effect. Maybe there is too many points. Maybe a little less. It's really, really cool. You can add more if you want. But you get it there, right? So once you know how to stop gradually the velocity, you can create really cool effects. So now is your moment to apply this knowledge to your project and to create really cool effects like this one. If you want to learn how to do this animation and many more, I recommend you to subscribe to not lose any tutorial and please give a like if you like this video. And remember, you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next tutorial.